Honorable Member for Kantora. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, for giving me the floor. Um, I equally join my colleagues to thank the entire membership of the Select Committee, I mean, the Special Committee on this COVID-19. Equally, at this juncture, allow me to recognize the presence of Cabinet Minister here in presence. And uh, coming to the discussion proper, I do have some observations, very brief and such. Uh, that is, when I went through the report, um, certain border posts, very significant indeed, uh, been left out and not touched. I believe the URR does not only have the semi border post, but equally, if you go to Cantona constituency, where I hail from, there's a border post called Nyamanari. Uh, it's a place where human um, transaction or human uh, communication, good and service and vehicles normally pass to the price. And I, I would be also more than willing um, to really engage the committee there to, to take them through and also see the beautiful job that is on the ground by the personnel and also meet the volunteer Red Cross members. These are youths in Cantora took up the initiative to volunteer, to be a part of the Red Cross. And then they have their motorbikes. They normally patrol around to see the issue of uh, illegal trafficking of persons from Senegal. And actually, I would like to applaud their effort and thank them so much for statesmanship. Um, haven't said that, uh, probably during the response of the uh, that place is omitted as well. I um, haven't said that I will be so brief, and that is to also look. Um, we do recognize that uh, Gambia is a religious state uh, comprised of uh, Muslim and Christian as well. But uh, there is uh, this, this is an outcry about how can the regulation be reshaped again to make sure at least would give away for people to read. Um, if I would have loved the committee to engage the Supreme Army Council in Islam, is it allowed, like during worship, to have a spacing? You know, when, when that is really asked or triggered, uh, when a question is triggered to them, then they will have a definitive response. And that will actually help them to arrive at a certain conclusion that, okay, we recommend that uh, it is accepted in Islam when praying on the same line, you can great distance among each other, um, which is primarily focused on to avoid human contact. When that is actually um, done, then I think the committee will be in best position to actually allow or advocate for the reopening of the mosque. And uh, also, um, the time frame as well, alluded by member for Kantala, Kony Kantala, that it is very, very much, very, 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 very um, um, operational that you can conduct a Friday prayers, a sermon within 20 minutes. Um, when that is communicated that we are going to allow you a break, but sermon, a Friday prayers or Sunday, Sunday churches normally consume time. And so many people do not attend, it becomes so crowdy. And then uh, that we are trying to change the entire narratives that is to allow you a break within a time frame of 20 minutes and disperse, provided that X, Y, and Z, sanitizer, wash and things are provided in the mosques or the churches. And at least uh, because we are of the belief, um, according to uh, some political philosophers like St. Thomas Aquinas, says that the um, church supremacy should, should supersede the state. That is, the human beings should walk towards the eternal enjoyment of the hereafter. And that is only attained in the mosques and churches. Therefore, they have believe that uh, that uh, um, state should be subordinate to the, uh, the religious place. However, it's just a, a political thought. But of course, we can actually consider that particular um, initiative, whereby there could be distancing, a, a little bit of space, 
um, between two people or three or in a line to allow that distancing to be observed. And if that is advisable by the health minister, it's something to go by and can also um, serve as a deterrent, uh, not to possibly, um, if, I, I mean, affect or um, transmit the COVID-19 to other people, then the measures could be, could be, could be, could be adopted. However, I just stand to applaud the committee membership for the statementship and also give my blessings to the report as recommended by them for 21 days over this extension period. Thank you so much for your indulgence.